Hey guys, I'm DC Creator and host of Barside Jive, and it's another day. I want to welcome you to my daily dose of rock music history. Today is Tuesday, March 17th, 2020, and you are witnessing my Satisfaction Guaranteed Tour Day number 43. Remember, you can check out my Daily Dose archives as well as all my other content on my YouTube channel. Just search Barside Jive Live. I am coming at you live from the vocal studios in North Dallas. Let's do some rock and roll. So on this day in 1957, Elvis Presley buys the Graceland Mansion from Mrs. Ruth Brown Moore for $102,500, outbidding the YMCA's offer of $35,000. The 23-room, 10,000-square-foot home sitting on 13.8 acres of land would be expanded to 17,552 square feet of living space before the king moved in a few weeks later. The original building had at one time been a place of worship used by the Graceland Christian Church and was named after the builder's daughter, Grace Toof. Okay, the Coasters record what will prove to be their only U.S. number one hit, Yakety Yak, on this day in 1958. In the U.K., it reached number 12. Also on this day in 1958, starting out as the B-side of a single called Train to Nowhere, the Champs Tequila... had gained enough attention from radio disc jockeys to rise to the top spot on both the Billboard Pop and R&B charts, as well as the Cashbox Best Sellers list. It was also a number five hit in the UK. The Shadows, originally known as the Drifters, were an English instrumental rock group and started an eight-week run at the top of the UK chart with wonderful land on this day back in 1962 it was not a hit in america on this day in 1968 the Bee Gees make their first appearance on the ed sullivan show performing words and to love somebody American Hot Wax, a fictionalized movie account of the early days of Cleveland disc jockey Alan Freed, premieres in the U.S. on this day in 1978. The film featured performances by Chuck Berry, Jerry Lee Lewis, Frankie Ford, and Screamin' Jay Hawkins. On this day in 1978, four Irish high school teens who called themselves, that's right, you too win the top prize of 500 pounds or 1,000 U.S. dollars in the Limerick Civic Week Pop 78 competition sponsored by the Evening Express and Guinness Harp Lager. They also win a chance to audition for CBS Ireland the next June. And Halen's Jump peaks at number one in the U.S. and number seven in the U.K. on this day back in 1984. Over the years, David Lee Roth has given various accounts of the meaning behind the lyrics, but most often says they are about a TV news story he saw where a man was about to kill himself by jumping off a building. On this day in 1990, Rick Gresh, former bassist for Blind Faith, died from a drug-related cause at the age of 44. The Kinks' Ray Davies received a CBE medal that would be Commander of the British Empire medal from Queen Elizabeth II at Buckingham Palace for services to the music industry on this day in 2004. The CBE is considered to be one level below knighthood. So on this day in 2008, Ola Brunkert, the drummer for ABBA, 
on all their albums died after he hit his head against a glass door in his dining room, shattering the glass and cutting himself in the neck. He managed to wrap himself with a towel, but then collapsed before reaching help. He was 62. He played on every single ABBA album and toured with the group for many years. And... Leonard Skinner announced they have signed a new record deal with Roadrunner Records on this day in 2009 and are working on their first album in six years. The LP title God and Guns would be released on September 29th. And that, guys, is rock and roll and wraps my rock history lesson today. You can wipe away those tears. You can dry those eyes because there is more coming from me to you tomorrow and every day. As I peel back, and I mean peel back the pages of my big-ass book of rock music history and explore the past of the rock legends on my daily dose of rock music. You can catch up on all my daily dose episodes as well as all of my content. Just go to YouTube, search Barside Jive Live. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Barside Jive. I want to thank you all for hanging out with me today during my daily dose. Really enjoy the company. Be sure to please seek every day to be a hero in someone's life. And I will see you very soon, such as like tomorrow. In the meantime, peace, love, and rock and roll. Here you go, Boner. Have mercy. sidejivelive.com